Hello, everyone. My name is Tiffany, and on behalf of the Colorado Department of Revenue, it is my pleasure to walk you through this video introduction on how to find location codes and tax rates for non-physical sites. This video focuses on how to find what you need to set up your non-physical site using an Excel workbook lookup tool. You can pause or rewind this video at any time to review the information provided. Before we get started, we want to introduce you to the variety of resources and tools available to you. We have our websites, taxpayer helpline, email, or we are available by appointment at any of our service centers. This video will cover how to find location codes and tax rates for non-physical sites electronically using our Excel workbook lookup tool. Now, no quality presentation is complete without a quality disclaimer, so here's ours. The Colorado Department of Revenue aims to make complex tax information easier to understand. This presentation is intended to provide general information concerning Colorado tax topics in simple and straightforward language. Although we have done our best to provide accurate and complete tax information, this information is not binding on the Department of Revenue nor does it replace, alter, or supersede Colorado tax law and regulations. We recommend consulting with a tax professional for your specific tax situation. An important note, neither the DR1002 nor the spreadsheet on the Colorado Department of Revenue website provides any information about exemptions for self-collected home rural cities and the absence of any such information should not be interpreted to mean that self-collected home rural cities do not allow any exemptions. Please contact self-collected home rural cities directly for information about the sales tax exemptions they allow. Let's get started. Begin by going to tax.colorado.gov slash how hyphen to hyphen look hyphen up hyphen sales hyphen use hyphen tax hyphen rates. Once you are on the How to Look Up Sales and Use Tax Rates website, click on the header Excel Spreadsheet. Under the Tax Rates by Effective Date section, click on the hyperlink for the time period you are looking up. This will download the Excel file to your computer. Once the file has finished downloading, open it in Excel. Once the file opens, click Enable Editing in the yellow bar at the top of the screen. You are now ready to go. The bottom of the spreadsheet does contain several tabs. The first is the primary lookup by city and then location codes and rates at the bottom left. The next tab is by the code first and then the location, which is just a different way to see the information. There are also separate tabs for the exemption codes and tax codes. We will start with the first tab on the left, which opens automatically. On this spreadsheet, you can see a small arrow at the top of each column. In column A, click the tiny down arrow and you can search by city. In column C, if you click the tiny down arrow, you can search by county. So if we click on that tiny down arrow in column A and then type in the city of rifle, and click OK, anything for the City of Rifle displays. We can now scroll to the right and see more information for Rifle. In a closer look, we can see Rifle, the location or jurisdiction code, Garfield County, that Rifle is a home rule, self-collecting city, and there are no listed city exemptions. If there were, there would be letters for which exemptions are allowed. We do see county exemptions and no special district exemptions. Below, we see the location code again. We also see the state sales tax rate at 2.9% with a 4% service fee. The county sales tax rate is 1% with a 3.33% service fee. And the city shows a sales tax rate of 4.25% with no service fee. Remember, Rifle is a home rule, self-collected city. It is strongly recommended that you contact individual self-collected jurisdictions to verify the most current sales tax rates and licensing procedures that they may require. 
Let's practice looking up by county. Before we begin, be sure to clear any filters from the city column. Now, click on the down arrow in column C, type in Garfield, and click OK. Anything for the county of Garfield displays. We can now scroll to the right and see more results for Garfield County. In a closer look, we can see rifle on line 507, the location or jurisdiction code, Garfield County, that rifle is a home rule self-collecting city, and there are no city exemptions listed. If there were, there would be a letter for each of those exemptions allowed. We do see the county exemptions and that there are no special district exemptions. Below, we see the location code again. We also see the state sales tax rate is 2.9% with a 4% service fee. The county sales tax rate is 1% with a 3.33% service fee. And the city sales tax rate is 4.25% with no service fee listed. Please note that in this view, you do see other cities in Garfield County, and you can also see how that information can change based on the city's applicable taxes. For example, column Q shows an RTA, or might show an RTD, Regional Transportation District, or Cultural District, if applicable. Remember, Rifle is a home rule, self-collected city. It is strongly recommended that you contact individual self-collected jurisdictions to verify the most current sales tax rates and licensing procedures that they may require. The last two tabs at the bottom of the spreadsheet we mentioned are exemption codes and tax codes. They are your keys to read and provide additional information. Remember, there is considerable nuance and complexity to deductions and exemptions for sales tax. It is strongly recommended that you contact any home rule jurisdictions for their information. And for state collected jurisdictions, please visit tax.colorado.gov. Congratulations! You now know how to find your location code and sales tax rates using the Colorado Department of Revenue Excel Workbook Lookup Tool. If you need help after this video, remember your resources and tools that are available for you to use. That includes our websites, the Taxpayer Helpline, our email address, or by appointment at any of our service centers. My name is Tiffany, and on behalf of the Colorado Department of Revenue, Taxation Division, Education and Training, thank you for watching this video, and thank you for being tax compliant.